Hello and welcome to DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's headlines, Resistance forces launch new offensive in Kitchen State. Myanmar People's Summit held in Australia. Thailand hosts seminar on impact of Myanmar's 2021 military coup. And International Women's Day marks one year of Manol's exhibition. The Kachin Independence Army spokesperson Nabu told DVB that the KIA and People's Defense Force launched an offensive on military bases in Kachin State on Thursday. Three civilians were reportedly killed in Weinmaw Township by artillery fired by the military. Nabu said that the fighting is expected to continue along the Michina Bamo Highway. He called on residents in Kachin State to shelter in safe locations. Eliza resident told DVB that many have fled the town or are preparing to leave. Several have already been displaced from their homes due to artillery fired in response to the offensive. Members of the National Unity Government and Civil Society organized the Myanmar People's Summit in Melbourne, Australia on Monday. Timor-Leste Prime Minister Shanana Guzmao spoke at the event. He and President Jose Ramos Horta have long been supporters of Myanmar's democracy movement. The struggle in Myanmar is also our struggle. That was Shanana Guzmao, the Prime Minister of Timor-Leste. He expressed support for the UN Security Council Resolution 2669 which calls on the military to seize all violence and release political prisoners, including Aung San Suu Kyi. The Myanmar People's Summit coincided with the ASEAN Australia Summit 2024. Protesters called on ASEAN to recognize the NUG instead of the military. Thailand's Parliament House in Bangkok hosted a seminar called Three Years After the Coup. From March 2nd to 3rd, the NUG, Ethnic Armed Organizations, UN Special Rapporteur Tom Andrews, and democracy activist Ken Oma attended. In spite of the possible differences in opinion or approach between the different bodies in Thailand, I think they all see that this is a time that they really must seriously address the crisis in Myanmar with all of the Myanmar people coming into Thailand, not as illegally, but as the survivors of the barbaric violence by the Myanmar military. That was Ken Oma, a human rights and democracy activist from Myanmar. The regime's Ministry of Foreign Affairs sent a letter objecting to the seminar's negative impacts on bilateral relations. The Manuals Exhibition, Where Are the Women?, was launched in Chiang Mai, Thailand by the Women's League of Burma and the Solwin Institute for Public Policy on International Women's Day last year. It raised awareness about all-male panels, excluding women, hosted by groups from Myanmar. Exhibit organizer Ying Lao Nonvo spoke to DVB. We know that the root cause is exclusion. And the way to address the, the issues of exclusion is to actively pursue inclusion, to actually make people feel included. But what we are seeing is that people are not actively pursuing that. And that's why they always end up with one dominant group after another, you know, uh, representing in these panels and in these discussions. And that is uh, actually uh, hindering uh, the progress in our democracy movement. Our approach is that this whole, you know, objective of doing this exhibition is to start a conversation to encourage all these relevant actors, different organizations, medias, everyone uh, to be uh, mindful of uh, inclusion and that we all must put an effort, you know, a conscious effort to make them happen. That was Ying Lao Nongvo, the executive director of the Solwin Institute for Public Policy. Photos of DVB manuals were included in the exhibit. Since then, DVB has actively included more women on our panels. A new TV program called Women's Voice was launched in November. And that's all for this week's headlines. I'm Joe. Myanmar artist Chu Wei's Thread Under Threat, Invincible Myanmar Women Who Dare. Exhibition is on display at Ban Tuak Art Center in Chiang Mai, Thailand from March 8th to the 27th. Stay tuned to DVB English News on Facebook, X, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok.
Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening.